Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to integrate cosine 6 of x. It will be very useful to know half angle identity for cosine squared of x, integration of cosine or sine with ax kind of argument, sum of two cubes, and Pythagorean identity for cosine. Let's start. Our first step is to break cosine 6 of x into squared form so we can utilize the half angle identity. So we can break cosine 6 into cosine squared to the third power. So this will be equal to cosine 6 of x. Now we can substitute cosine squared of x with our half angle identity. So it will be 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2x. The third power dx. Now we are going to take the third power of the terms. What is 1 half to the raised to the third power? It's going to be 1 8 and we can pull it in front of the integral sign because it's in multiplication form. What is left inside is 1 plus cosine of 2x. You can consider it like a plus b kind of term raised to the third power. So we're going to apply binomial cube. You can memorize this formula or retrieve it from Pascal triangle. Or you could multiply 1 plus cosine of 2x three times and simplify. In my other video, I am going to explain how to use Pascal triangle for cubic sum. So we are going to cube 1 plus cosine of 2x. A term is 1, B term is cosine of 2x. So 1 cubed is 1 plus 3 times A term squared which is 3 times B term cosine of 2x. So it will be cosine 3 cosine 2x plus 3 times a times b squared. 3 times a term is 3 and b squared is cosine squared of 2x plus cube of the second term which is cosine cubed of 2x dx. Now we are going to break this integral into four integrals. So 1 8 is in front. Our first integral will be 1. Our second integral will be 3 cosine 2x. Next integral will be 3 cosine squared of 2x. And the final integral will be cosine cubed of 2x. Let's rewrite in separate integrals. 1 dx plus we can pull this 3 to the front because it's in multiplication form cosine of 2x dx and we can pull this 3 to the front as well cosine squared of 2x dx plus cosine cube of 2x dx now we're going to check integrals one by one we have 1 8 in front. So we can complete this integral because we know the antiderivative of 1. What is the antiderivative of 1 with respect to x? It is x. So the first integral is completely done. We can box it. We have plus sign. Let's check the second integral. We have 3 in front. What is the antiderivative of cosine of 2x? So we're going to use this cosine of ax kind of argument. So it will be 1 half sine of 2x. And if we multiply by 3, it will be 3 over 2 sine of 2x. 
Our second integral is also done. So let's box it as well. We have plus sign here and 3 in front of the integral sign. Here cosine has even power. Whenever you have even power on cosine or sine, you're going to apply half angle identity. Whenever you have odd power, you're going to apply Pythagorean identity. So we're going to apply half angle identity for cosine. It will be one half times one plus cosine of four X dx. Here you have to be careful that it will be 4x because we're doubling this angle. Like we're doubling x here, it became 2x and we multiply this argument by 2 which we are doubling and it became 4x. Now we can pull this constant to the front. So 3 over 2. What is the antiderivative of 1? x. What is the antiderivative of cosine of 4x? It will be 1 fourth sine of 4x. Again, you can use this box here for fast integration of cosine and sine. Now we're going to distribute this 3 over 2 to the terms. 3 over 2x plus 3 over 8 sine of 4x. Our third integral is also completed. Let's check our last integral. Our last integral has the odd power, so we are going to apply Pythagorean identity. But before that, we have to break cosine cube into square times cosine. So we can rewrite it as cosine squared of 2x times cosine of 2x dx. Now we're going to substitute cosine squared of 2x with our Pythagorean identity. So it will be 1 minus sine squared of 2x times outside we have cosine of 2x dx. Now we're going to do here normal u substitution our u is sine of 2x. So what is our du? What is the derivative of sine of 2x? Derivative of sine of 2x, we will apply here chain rule. So first outer function, what is the derivative of sine? So it will be cosine of 2x times inside function, the derivative of 2x, which is 2. So if we simplify, it will be 2 cosine 2x dx. So du equals to this. And if you solve for dx here, 1 half du will be equal to cosine of 2x dx. Now let's rewrite in terms of u. We have integral sign here. So 1 minus u squared. This is exactly our du, our 1 half du. So we can pull this 1 half to the front and write du here. Now we can complete this integration. It will be 1 half times the derivative and antiderivative of 1 with respect to u is u minus the antiderivative of u squared is 1 third u cubed. We add 1 to the power and divide by that number plus c at the end of all integrals. So we will multiply this by 1 half. 1 half u minus 1 over 6 u cubed. Now we're going to bring u back. 
what was u? It was sine of 2x. So we're going to rewrite in terms of sine. It will be 1 half times sine of 2x minus 1 sixth of sine cube of 2x. Our last integral is also completed. Let's box it as well. So we completed our four integrals plus c. Now we're going to distribute 1 8 to whole integrals one by one and simplify. One eight times x is one eight x plus one eight times three over two is three over sixteen sine of two x plus one over eight times three over two is three over sixteen x plus 1 over 8 times 3 over 8 is 3 over 64 sine of 4x. We have plus sign in front here. Plus 1 8 over 1, 1 8 times 1 half is 1 over 16 sine of 2x minus 1 8 times 1 over 6 is 1 over 48 sine cube of 2x and we have plus c now we're going to simplify this let's combine the like terms here 1 over 8x and 3 over 16x are like terms and 3 over 16 sine of 2x and 1 over 16 sine of 2x are like terms so let's combine the like terms. 1 over 8 plus 3 over 16x plus 3 over 16 plus 1 over 16 sine of 2x plus 3 over 64 sine of 4x minus 1 over 48 sine cube of 2x plus c. 1 over 8 plus 3 over 16 is 5 over 16 x plus 3 over 16 plus 1 over 16 is 4 over 16 and if you reduce it it simplifies to 1 fourth sine of 2x plus 3 over 64 sine of 4x minus 1 over 48 sine cube of 2x plus c. This is the final answer. We can box it. But if you wish, you can continue to simplify further by combining the LCD. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.